This is what is commonly known to my people as the British bullshit rail. And that's because no curtain robot in the whole market can control it because its eyelets run along the back instead of along the bottom like a traditional U-rail. You know, the traditional U-rail that I had just before I started this review and would have worked perfectly well with the curtain robot that I'm reviewing. Now, through a series of unfortunate events, I've installed a British bullshit rail. But guess what? Choo choo. So it works great, and this is massive news because I don't think it works great on literally any other robot. But the big question is, if it worked okay on my U-Rail, why did I replace my U-Rail with this British bullshit rail? And the answer is later on in the video. I think that did it. I'm not going to keep them watching. Have to satiate YouTube's algorithm, otherwise you won't keep watching the video. And then I'll, my channel will fail. Isn't it good bait? Has that baited you in? Have you been baited by the master? Is that master bait? Thanks to Akara for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their Akara E1 curtain driver. This thing has a massive 6,000 milliamp battery that lasts for an entire year. But most importantly, I can't find a rail that this thing won't work on. It works with Amazon Alexa, it works with Apple HomeKit, and it works with Google Home. Hey Google, close the curtains. Behove the sermons! Now close the curtains. Dose the Persians? Close the curtains. Stroke the girdle. Close the curtains! Loading, 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 nothing! <laughs> Pocket dial your ex-girlfriends! They won't like this. You probably won't like this. I'm not joking. Put your Google speaker in a bin. Every time I speak to it, my phone wakes itself up in my pocket and sits there going, let's do things in Paul's pocket. Just get rid of it. Gather around, boys and girls. It's story time. Isn't that right, Mr. Socky? Yes! It's a cocktail menu. Shut up, Mr. Socky. <laughs> Once upon a time, Paul decided to spend 20 minutes cavemanning an Akara attachment into his perfectly good U-Rail, despite the fact it doesn't fit because that's not what it's for. Paul decided he'd been sent the wrong attachment. So Paul, in a fit of rage, angrily emailed Akara to tell them they had officially wrecked Monday. And suddenly, he had an idea. Thanks to Paul's genius, he realised he could probably attach the hooks directly to the plastic eyes in the runner of the curtain rail. He didn't need the stupid attachments after all. Sometime during the install process, Paul snapped a whole bunch of the eyelets, which was seemingly made out of cheese. This rendered his rail entirely useless. Paul would have to leave the house, and it was then that Paul remembered, Britain has a son now. Once at B&Q, Paul quickly realised that the replacement eyelets were just different enough that he would have no idea if they would fit without buying them, so he cheerfully removed them from the rack, frightened some woman at the end of the aisle, and cheerfully drove all the way home to establish that no matter how angrily he squeezed them, they absolutely wouldn't bloody fit. Paul handled this like the well-adjusted adult that he is. With Paul's existing rail now entirely bollocksed, he cheerfully headed all the way back to B&Q to buy a new one. And after he'd finished installing his brand spanking new rail, he suddenly realised something terrible. Oh, sh**. Sh**. death. That's... That's... What had he done, Mr. Socky? He bought a British bull rail! He bought the only rail you can possibly buy that doesn't work with curtain robots, boys and girls. 
because Paul's only other option was to drink himself to sleep, Paul decided to give the motor a final go anyway. And boy was he glad he did, boys and girls, because it worked! <laughs> Hooray, Mr. Socky! It worked! What do you think about that, Mr. Socky? I think Paul Emmett's a f***ing idiot! And he should have done that in the first place! So this thing's hooks are motorised, and when you double-click the button, they expand so that you can hook them onto pretty much any eyelets. And then when you double-click the button again, they contract to pull the motor up to where the rail meets. And despite the fact my rail is like paper thin, it still gets enough traction to pull my reasonably heavy curtains along the track. Alright mate, I've uh, really not subscribed. Some reason for that? Like I haven't been trying, is it? Out of the two of us, do you think I'm trying quite hard with this relationship and you're kind of just sat there? Subscribe now! I'm kidding. Don't subscribe if you don't want to. I'll be very upset. Akara's software is actually probably my favourite off-the-shelf solution, because everything is laid out really nicely, and the automations you can achieve are off the charts. The bloody door is open. And Akara's stuff also works without the internet these days too, which means I could connect these motors directly to their Akara Zigbee camera, and I could make a gesture at the camera to make the curtains close. I'm not joking. This is a thing. The setup process was a simple affair where you hold a button down to make the device searchable and then scan for it in the app. Once scanned, you can then set the curtain's limits, and should you have a pair of curtains like I do, then you can also pair two motors together should you have purchased two of them. Without any additional setup whatsoever, you can tug one of the curtains and it will automatically close the motors. Doesn't take much tugging to satisfy me. Hello, yes, internet please, he's gone too far again. He's talking about tugging now. Well, yes, on a curtain. Yes, it's disgusting. Another really cool thing that these curtain motors do is have them open gradually, should you wish. So you could have them open over a 10 minute period on a schedule. You could also have it open if it's light outside. So there's a little light sensor on the device that will detect when the sun has come up and open the curtains for you, or have them so that they automatically close when it gets dark. This is genius. Big thanks, by the way, to Lewis from Everything Smart Home for providing me with a lot of today's footage. Look at me, my famous friends. Stop your pathetic waffling and tell me if it works with Home Assistant. All right. It's not like Home Assistant fans to get all belligerent, impatient, and frustrated, is it? That better not start happening. So my mate Lewis says that currently these motors are detected by a home assistant using ZHA. In ZHA, he's managed to put in a custom quirk to reverse direction and show the battery life. Two things that aren't yet working. But he's also made a pull request because well, Lewis is awesome. And so hopefully this should be resolved soon. If you want to check out more of Lewis's video, you'll see a lot more info on the Home Assistant side of things, and you'll see his rod motor in action. Rod motor. <laughs> Smut! First off then, these motors are quite bulky because of their enormous battery. I'm a big sexy boy. The thin profile of my British bullshit rail consequently causes the motors to lean out a little bit, which means that I can open the curtain only so far before the motor hits the wall. The curtain's still open enough for me personally, but it will depend on your physical setup as to whether this is likely to be a problem. I should point out, of course, that if I had used my U-Rail, it wouldn't be facing that direction and therefore it wouldn't be a problem. The other thing that might bother some people is that you'll need an Akara hub of some description for the cloud functionality to work. You can't obviously connect she that should not be named straight to this. You need something to act as a bridge. You could use the Akara camera, like I've already pointed out. Akara do some really cool little bridges, like tiny ones and camera-based ones. And if you buy the camera-based one, you've got the advantage of a really cool camera too. 
It's actually one of the best cameras that I've reviewed yet. They're also undeniably, at this point, a little bit more expensive than the SwitchBot equivalent. I'm not spending loads on this. I've got two euros from my last holiday. I've got some Vaseline and the end of a packet of Polos. Was that a rubber chicken? Yes, the Akara motor is heavier than the SwitchBot equivalent, but as proven in Lewis's video, in which he absolutely tortured both of these devices, the Akara is a big, heavy, sexy boy. It can move far more heavy curtains, and I suspect the battery life will be unparalleled as a consequence. I'm a big, sexy boy. Furthermore, if you're looking for a Zigbee motor that will work with your Conby stick for Home Assistant, then the SwitchBot motor just doesn't fit that bill. More importantly for a great many people, if you have a British bullshit rail, this is your only option anyway, to my knowledge. There are obviously advantages to both of these robots. You'll find that one will fit the bill for you personally better than the other. Whichever one it is, both are awesome. And you'll find a link in the description for where you can pick these robots up from. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people here are my patrons from Patreon, and without them, I would not be doing this, I would be in a call center. If you want to be one of these incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. I almost forgot to say it, but please do check out Lewis. He's an awesome, awesome guy, and there are links in the description to his video. If you want to hang out with me on social media, you can be my best friend at either Facebooks, at Twitters, Instagrams, or TikToks. Come and hang out there. We can be best friends. See you next time. Now close the curtains. <laughs> Actually failing in the background right now. <laughs> I don't know what that face is. <laughs> but this is a very long and very annoying story, but please do, I don't, I'm now gesticulating with Mr. Socky, he hates that.